Howdy, it's Joe Bulkane again, and welcome to episode number two of my series entitled Myth Breakers. And this particular episode is devoted to uh, a subject called sugar in your gas tank. Now, when I was a boy, I remember my Sunday school teacher claimed that his engine and his old Kaiser was ruined by vandals who put sugar in his gas tank. And at that time, it was a common thing for people to, uh, to fear uh, being uh, vandalized by, uh, by sugar. And uh, many of them uh, took to putting uh, locking gas caps on their car because at that time, uh, none of the, the gas caps uh, locked like they do on modern cars. So let's take a look at how I'm going to approach this subject and see if we can break this myth. I intend to destroy this little Craftsman engine. This came off of a, an edger that I bought at a garage sale and it's about a two or three horse and actually it's a Tecumseh made engine. Have you noticed that on uh, engines that you buy for as far as uh, lawnmowers and so on they no longer call them or uh, uh, classify them by horsepower it's by cubic inches or uh, you know other nonsense that means nothing to the consumer they got away from horsepower but what I did here is I removed the factory gas tank and I'm going to use a separate gas tank so that uh, I can add the sugar to it and just in case this engine survives I haven't contaminated that gas tank. So this is an engine I've had for a while. I had to work on it to get it to, uh, to run. There was a, ultimately a hole in the uh, carburetor float that I had to solder up because uh, all the gas was leaking out. It's not a good running engine by any means, but it will serve the purposes for this video. I sent my wife to Kroger's and I said, I want uh, five pounds of sugar. And I said, I don't want any of that beet sugar either. I want pure cane sugar from Hawaii. So there it is. Five bucks or whatever that cost. Pure cane sugar and I'm going to use about uh, a three ounce cup I don't think it matters much of sugar and I'm going to dump it into the auxiliary gas tank that I have uh, rigged up here and here's my setup and is this scientific? Uh, not at all scientific I'm not a scientist I'm an old shop teacher and just as a sidebar here I want to mention that if you've never had a Coca-Cola made with genuine cane sugar as opposed to corn sweetener, you are in for a treat. You will have trouble finding it. I have to go to the Mexican grocery store here in my local town in order to find uh, sugar from a cane from Hawaii in the Coca-Cola and there's a dramatic difference. Maybe you won't notice it if you didn't grow up with with the original coke but I sure can tell the difference but it costs a lot more alright here's what I've done again I've taken the gas tank off of the, the uh, Tecumseh and I've got this old gas tank mounted on a pedestal here with uh, a line reading, uh, leading down to the engine I have put a filter in line so that if uh, any undissolved sugar will get caught in the filter rather than going into the carburetor and clogging it. I don't know what the results is. Uh, I always thought that uh, the sugar uh, somehow got into the engine, possibly into the walls of the cylinders or, or in the bearings or something like that and caused it, the engine to seize up. I may be totally wrong. Now notice that I have the uh, gas tank at an angle such that when I pour the gasoline uh, in here and fill it and I'm, that's how much gasoline I'm going to use. I think this is two quarts and that'll probably run for about a half hour. I've got it tilted this way so that any sugar that is undissolved will go to this end rather than come down directly and clog the line. So that, that's the purpose of the tilt. Now I'm going to do this test outside because it's way too noisy here in the garage. Note that I have the gas turned off with this little clamp. I strongly recommend that you people use a safety can like this when you handle gasoline. They are wonderful. Uh, they close automatically and I like the type with the, uh, the built-in funnel. 
However, you will have to take a second mortgage out to purchase one. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the tank. I haven't added the sugar yet. And this is regular gasoline with alcohol in it from my local gas station. How the victims of uh, this vandalism discovered that they had sugar in their tank, I never did know. I'm always thinking they found evidence around the edge with, with sugar spilled on the ground or on the spout of their car. So here's a, a three ounce Dixie cup with sugar. And I'm going to shake that up good. Off camera I'll slosh it around real well after I put the lid on. And now I'm going to move the entire kit and caboodle outdoors. I'm out in the yard now and here's the setup. I've staked the engine down because I know it's just going to bounce around. Gas tank up there. So once I get it started, of course it's going to be way too loud to talk and I'm not going to run the camera continuously it will just be uh, periodically when I I think it's uh, appropriate to show you that it's still running or has seized up and stopped and uh, been destroyed by the sugar. Alright let's see if I can get this old girl to start. Okay here it goes I don't know if you can hear me It's taking a licking, but it keeps on ticking. The engine just stopped dead. Let me see what the matter is. If, uh, if it's, it didn't seize up, it just quit running. So let me see if there is gas getting to the carburetor. Okay, let's examine the reasons why it stopped now. It's 8.30 by the way. I can see sugar in the filter here and I see sugar down here, a layer of it. I'm not sure if this is showing up or not. So I'm not saying that this filter is clogged yet, but what I've observed here in uh, looking into the gas tank is that uh, sugar has clogged the gas line in this area and I'm poking a wire down there right now to try to clear it. So that is sugar that is not dissolved, it is not in solution, it's just clogging as sand or any other foreign material would clog it. I'm looking down the bore of the gas tank. See where the wire is poking? And that's uh, sugar in the outlet there. So I'm going to clear that and get this thing running again. It won't take too much. Now you can see why I had uh, the gas tank tilted, but there's still plenty of raw sugar that's getting into the line. I've been playing around with this for 15 minutes using this long drill bit, and I finally cleared the, uh, the fitting here, and the sugar was packed in there incredibly hard. Almost like it had solidified, but apparently it hadn't because I, I now have gas flowing again and all that sugar is going to go into the filter, but I'll start the engine up again and run it as long as I can until it stops again. It started right up.
Okay, it stopped within one minute, and I could tell as it sped up again that it was strictly due to uh, uh, fuel restriction. The engine stopped within a minute, and now looking at the fuel line, can you see that it's totally filled with sugar right in this area here? A total blockage. I'm surprised that doesn't run into the filter, but there's no fuel getting to the engine. So what I'm going to do at this time is uh, disconnect this, put another fuel line on, and see if it runs with, uh, with another uh, clean source of gasoline without any uh, sugar or anything else in it. It's going on 9 o'clock. I have reinstalled the uh, OEM gas tank, filled it full of gas, and notice now when I've unplugged this other gas line that very little is coming out. It's wide open, there's no valves or anything, and it, it's pretty well clogged. So now I'm going to start the engine, or attempt to, to see if there's anything wrong with the engine, which I doubt. The engine started instantly. There's nothing at all wrong with the engine. I'm pretty sure that this myth is broken, but let's examine the evidence a little further. My wife has graciously donated two glasses here. Can you see the undissolved sugar? And then looking in the glasses, oh, a lot of sugar in the bottom, a lot of sugar in that one. So the sugar did not dissolve. I'm back indoors and a little bit over an hour has elapsed and this myth has been broken. Look at the sugar still in the gas tank. There's tons on the inside here as well. If I can get my little flashlight here. You can see all the sugar in there. And this is the gasoline that I drained. And you can see that the sugar has settled out on the bottom. It's not dissolved. You know, I'd almost like to taste the gasoline to see if there's a little sweetness to it, but I, I have swallowed more gasoline in my life. When I was young, one time I swallowed so much, I remember I belched gasoline for hours, and I, I don't intend to swallow any more. That's when it had lead in it, too. And looking at the filter now, whoop, still dripping here. See how packed it is right there with, with sugar, and that's what finally caused it to stop the second time. The first time it was clogged in here. And there's quite a bit of sugar that found its way into the uh, filter. Presumably nothing got on the other side of the filter or into the carburetor because the engine runs just fine. You know, that's Sears best. All right, I'm gonna do one more little thing here after I had I had dumped this out and I'm going to try to salvage that sugar. I think I can still make some good lemonade with it if I can get the, uh, the, fl the gas out of there. This is a half a glass of H2O. This is a half a, a glass of uh, 85 octane. So there's a teaspoon of sugar. Into the water it goes teaspoon of sugar into the gasoline. Now we know that this is going to dissolve unless I put too much in there and I have a saturated solution. Sometimes when I make my uh, lemon shake-ups I put a little bit too much sugar in there and it, it settles at the bottom until the ice starts to melt and then there's more, more water in there and the the uh, sugar eventually uh, dissolves, but you can see here in the gasoline
Now that's all going to settle out presently. Already has. I don't know if there's any that is, is mixed with the gasoline. I don't know that for sure. You chemists out there can tell me that. But I have uh, busted, I have broken that myth. Uh, I, I, I'm surprised. This must be a YouTube first. So the final conclusion here is that this myth is broken, it's busted. The sugar has absolutely nothing to do with the destruction of an engine other than it blocks the fuel system. In fact, it is not any worse than putting uh, dirt in there or common sand, beach sand like this, or anything else that's granular and might clog the system. And it certainly would clog it probably faster on modern cars with their fuel injected that have the fuel pump in the uh, the uh, fuel tank. So, uh, myth broken. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure and watch number one if you haven't seen that yet. And I hope to uh, present many more of these. And I'm open to suggestions for uh, topics that would be used in this series. But they have to be topics where I am able to do them and I have the equipment or the resources to uh, perform the, the experiment or whatever is involved in uh, breaking these myths. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.